Good follow-up as well with Nautilus already being a main initiator and the amount of CC available for KT, absolutely incredible. It's Kingen, he got pummeled in lane last time around. I expect it will be the same and I expect he will care as little as he did in that game. I really hope so. After the way that game one went, this would be insane. But guys, let's jump out of the rift for game number two. So much uncharted territory <laughs> that, we, that we have yet to venture into. So much these, room for with possibilities. These so much options. Uh oh, that's fine. I think he's okay. You could just skill queue if you really want to, which is not too uncommon anyway. Um, and he just walks it off. Totally fine. But this is going to be the jungle held now by D plus Kia and Showmaker. He wants a mana flow stack. Many under his hands on their side. Could he have helped Leash? Yeah, it could be. But it could also be... A, okay, well, if he just... Okay, yeah. I, I was about to say, there's no way that you do that and then just walk towards your Raptors. Pioshik with the early invade here. Lucid is going to find him. Ward placed and He knows. Pace. They know. And, oh, Kalen uh -oh. might come over as well. <laughs> Pioshik in a... a smidgen of trouble as uh, the flail is going to fly, but it doesn't matter as... He's just being iced down. He's going to try to flash this wall, and he will get away. No, probably not. Uh, could still look for a dive here on the side of KT, but you see this wave is already being chunked out quite a bit as some extra damage trying to be put in into Kellen, it looks like, as now he is quite low. No exhaust for Kellen at the moment. And no hex flash, but you can always just go around the back as that they will. The root comes down onto Kellen. He's in a lot of trouble as he will flash away. But his first blood given over to Beryl, taken down by the Ignite. Farm up as much as you can. Lucid did get the one as all comes in. He is level four. And oh, God. <laughs> Where did he go? That is the power of the Varus. Reads the map beautifully. We do see the ping going down. I think that DK might have an inkling. Do they really know? I feel like they think Sejuani's here, but he just backed as now Kingen. Might be in some trouble, has to flash this one, and that he will just to survive against the Barrel Gank. Also got challenged by Perfect earlier on, and wasn't able to get the full three, even though KT got the drink. Lucid also hasn't really been able to use the max value as all the gank. Nice uh, knockback here from the side of BDD, and in fact, they're gonna try to turn this one around on the Showmaker, and that they will. The Smolder does call down his mom, down onto Pioshik, and will, in fact, pick up an early kill. In a guarantee win is all oh, king, and he doesn't have ult barrel, but it does not m seem to matter. Aftershock procced, and barrel only takes one turret shot, just like that. For his Nar as well, which in this matchup, obviously going to be a really big boon. He was in the mid lane as well, but Barrel's gonna get knocked up now, maybe playing too close to the sun as, nope, he's just gonna flash away. Then he goes back in actually, but Aiming is here, and that might be a bit of a problem. Flash Q from Aiming, as now Lucid's gonna get the power of the double. Seismic Shove comes out from the side of KT, as now Aiming will go down. It's a double to the side of BDD, making a triple, as Showmaker as well as being Kited down into his own jungle. Perfect, gonna pick that one up with his TP to come in and help out the team. From Talia, plus the fact that they already oh had used the Devourer. Yeah, Showmaker is dead. looks like he's dead. He doesn't have Flash, and that's one more rock from the side of BDD, who he says, you know, Barrel's looking pretty flashy all over the map, but what about me for POG? And there is, oh god. Uh oh. Okay, just a little uh, flash forward here from the side of Barrel. He's going to lock it down with the hook, but yeah, with Kellen here and Devour available. They didn't know that, but they're just not going to dive onto that turret. Better safe than sorry. As I say that, Barrel now in a bit of trouble as he is going to hook into the wall, but he is devoured to his death, most likely as King and right? one more hit would do right? it. Right? to the wall, no way! Flash comes forward, and King will finally get that kill, but will they pay for it as they are very deep in this one, and BDD shows up, and they take them both down. Do not fall for it! Please! This Barrel is just like, <laughs> a worthwhile thing. Was he? I'm predicting to him to flash forward? Uh, it has to be. I don't know why else he would go for that. Like he, I think was, he just missed. I might be, but I feel like it was so far up. Flash into... No, he doesn't have wall. Regardless, though, a uh, big mistake. Because... No Glacial Prison here. Ooh, yep. Yeah, and no flash. Could try to dive. And the shield is coming in from the Seraphs, but it looks like BDD 1Q, and he does get taken down. That's a big shutdown, but immediately going to be traded back as Deft does pick this one up. He's looking for a bit more. His Lucid was quite low. 
but this game is truly opened up at this point. Meanwhile, I mean, they have this in the bottom lane, and yes, Moom will be called to clear the wave. Then maybe just the max health burn will be enough, even through the Mountain Drakes. As, okay, well, King instead. <laughs> that happened somewhere along the way. Somewhere out there. Didn't quite see how it happened, but I imagine the gank squad is pretty powerful here. Beryl has recruited some mercenaries to join him on his quest to win every part of the map. <laughs> Take us to where we are needed! Oh, Lucid. Yeah, that's... That ain't it. Okay, well, now Kellen is going to pay the price. He does have a big shield, but that is nothing compared to the Fed Varus. Oh, it's now perfect. Uh-oh, we got some rocks. We got a big Gnar as well, right on top of the two of them. And that's going to be a double kill now for the side of death. This one is well and truly over, as we're almost a 10,000 gold diff, 19 minutes in. KT really wanted to get the most out of their Baron buff before they turn their eyes towards the dragon. Okay, Elk's going to come down. Mom also putting in a bit of damage, but that's just about it. It's just desperation. Holding on for dear life is D plus Kia. Still down about 13,000 gold. <laughs> when you invest a double old <laughs> and like you push them off, you're like, that, that actually was good. That felt good. We, we finally punched back. We did it. And then they TP back. All right, 225. Yeah. We did it, guys. The Smolder's online. And we get a nice little graphic here as King and dies. A nice gnar into two of them. As a bit of damage is actually going down on a perfect. Did they go too far on this one? Valdez? Perhaps they Valdez? did. Wait, no way. <laughs> they went straight into the smolder. Oh, and the damage is just insane right now. No. Oh, and he's going to force that flash out of BBB. Guys, they were down 13,000 golds. He has the Blast Cone. I think he's fine. The They're trying the to chase Lucid, Lucid has Flash. Blast Cone should save them, but yeah, you mentioned the Flash forward for Amy. He's just going to assassinate them. And the burn comes in. They want to give this over to Aiming, and they will. You've got to be kidding me. They don't get Soul either. Oh, Death has to try and steal this. If he can, he's a hero. Okay. <laughs> He might be able to kill Lucy, to be honest. He has an insane amount of damage, but... Oh, no, Deft! He's baited into it, and he goes down as well! Hands on his head as the objective bounty goes to well, that's, DK. Well, but it, it feels like this game should have been done. It still should be. It's still, like, what, 8K gold? I still don't think they should be allowed to get near this Baron, and they won't. They won't. They're going to let it go. That one went down to 76 health. Presses E. Nice damage being put in from Deft. He's got the target on the right target. On a TP to come through. All right, let's see if they can hold on to this one. Flash away from the seismic shove. Flash forward. Hook is going to sail wide. And KT Rolser with the Baron buff. Just leave. It's fine. It's fine. You can get Dragon. You have triple in him. No. You don't have to keep going. You know, honestly, I think they should be able to end this one here. But let's see if they actually do as they engage onto the Aatrox. And that is another kill for the Smolder. But Showmaker is going to go down. And aiming is so low. The Zonia's timing is perfect. But I just don't think it matters. As the Flash comes in and KT finally, we will be let off of their roller coaster as they take down game number two. We have a series on our hands. So, no harm, no foul. Clean win from KT Rolster. And we will have a third game.